Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy and this is a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I set up a reading journal using Happy Notes. All right guys, so I have done a few videos and I'll be filming a few more about ways to use Happy Notes, which are happy planner notebooks, some like extra filler paper you have laying around, pretty much any type of notebook, no matter what type of notebook it is, um, as well as some old outdated planners. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I created a reading journal. Now I am very new at this. This was just something that I need ways to kind of like express my creativity. And this was just really fun to set up. Now, I'm no expert in this. I don't even read that many books, as we'll see how many I've read this year thus far. Um, but it was a lot of fun to set up. Um, there are like a lot of YouTube videos on how to set up reading journals. There isn't that many um, in regards to like using happy planners. A lot of them are like the Bujo style or the bullet journal style. Um, but I'm going to kind of be incorporating both in this as I go along throughout the year. And I'm probably going to be adding pages as I figure out what I want this to look like. But I figured I'll go ahead and <laughs> show you guys what I have thus far, just in case you have some happy notes laying around or some extra filler pages, um, that you might want to incorporate some like reading pages into your regular planners. All right. So that's enough introduction let's just go ahead and get started so what i did for the cover is i just flipped the inside of a guided journal <laughs> this was the cover of a guided journal disney princesses and i kind of like the inside and then i just used white metal disc and there you have it i thought it was really cute and it was very subtle and there we go um then of course i just created a cover page i may do some more dark you know, decoration of this. Um, basically, I just used scrapbook paper because it's a little bit thicker and um, just, you know, cut out reading journal as a title and then use a Disney sticker because she was reading a book. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I wanted to have is like a list of books to read. So again, I just used a happy notes page. I think this came from a guided journal. I've pull all of my extra pages from guided journals and everything and put them together in one notebook so I just have easy access to them. Um, but I figured I would make this um, just because there are books that I like want to eventually read um, but I don't want to put them on hold at the library right now because I'm not ready to read them at this moment because I'm already in the middle of reading something. So I just want to keep a list and then I put L and A. L is like Libby which is the library apps. Um, that I have and then A is for you know Amazon Kindle Unlimited some of these are available on both but that just kind of helps me know where to get them from because obviously if they're available at the library I have to do a lot more pre-thought because a lot of times they aren't available instantly like they're already checked out and there's a waiting period whereas Amazon Unlimited is instant so and then I started a do, um, did not finish list. So a lot of people do have these, they call them DNFs and that's why I use the stickers for DNF and then just hand wrote did not finish. And this is where I write down the books that I kind of started and then didn't really like. Um, there were some more, but I couldn't remember them. So this is pretty much March forward. Um, but I, the reason why I definitely wanted to keep track of this is because I start a lot of books and then I don't like them. And I, I kind of want to account for that because I, I do a lot of reading that I don't count because I don't finish it. So this is kind of a way to count it. And I'm going to go back into my Kindle and figure how much I read from this book. I know I probably read at least half of it before I gave up. All right. And then I divided my journal into three sections. I divided it into yearly trackers and overview, and I'll get to each one shortly. So for yearly, I kind of created a cover and I printed, on, printed it on 32 pound paper that I bought from Amazon. I believe this image is from Wrong Wrong and I just um, did it, put it into a Word document and then 2023. And then the first page, and then I use washi to just kind of add a decorative element and then it also helps with the constant flipping to prevent like tearing and stuff. So it's kind of like dual purpose. Um, but the first thing was my 2023 goals. At the beginning of the year, my goal was to read 12 books. Well, I've recently found a book series. So I think I'm going to probably hit that and surpass that. So what I did is I put my 12 
blocks up here are my hexagons for my 12 books. And then I added extra hexagons down here for which hopefully I'll start to fill in some of these. I just bought some stencils off of Amazon, like a whole pack of these plastic flimsy stencils that have a lot of shapes and things like that. And that's what I used. Um, I made these, the 2023 in gold. I made those um, and printed them just on label paper. And then the these, most of the letters that I used in this book came from this book. It's the Recollections Alphabet book. I had to actually use a ring to keep it together because it was falling apart. But that's the book that I used for most of the letters. Um, I don't have that many stickers in here. Um, I believe that came from Paper House Studios. Um, it's the Planner Gal book, which is super cute. I don't have a lot of stickers. Hopefully that'll change. Okay, this next one is my shelfie. So I see a lot of Bujo, people that do the Bujo journals love this and I think it's so cute. I actually created this myself. So I just created this using shapes in Microsoft Word. And the reason why I did it myself is there are plenty of these on Etsy. Um, you might even be able to find some free printables online if you just search for them. But I write kind of big and I had tried one and it was just hard for me to fit everything in there without being able to see it. So I made bigger books. <laughs> um, and then this image is I have a free trial right now for from like Shutter. What is it? Shutter something. Shutter stock, I believe it is. So I, I thought this image was cute. So I downloaded this image from there and put that here. So basically what I do is I believe there's like, I don't know, like 23 on this shelf. And then this will bring it up to 40 or something like that. I'm probably, even though I'm doing really good this month, I don't know how well, how, you know, far that's going to go. So I didn't want to go too crazy. I'm hoping I can make it to this page, but we'll see. Um, I definitely wanted to do the two page spread. And right now what I'm doing is I am color coding these by the month I read them. As you can see, I've only read two of the four months so far. So I read a couple books in February. And then thus far, I am actually on my sixth book already in April. So yes. And then here is my books read. And what I did is I just printed out the cover images um, of the books. And then this is where I'm actually putting my ratings. I thought, I see a lot of people doing this and I think it's very cute. And it's kind of an easy way to kind of put a visual to this. So that's kind of why I did it. Plus, you know, because I don't have as many stickers, <laughs> it does add some decorative elements. All right, so this idea I actually took from Elise, um, from Planning with Elise. She does like a monthly reading thing where she writes how many books and then how many pages. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. Um, I actually do my reading with a Kindle. So, you know, it's hard for me to always know how many pages I do. So this kind of gets me to like look at Amazon, see how many pages it is. And I actually impress myself with how book, big some of these books are. Again, for this one, I did not use Happy Notes paper. I just used some 32 pound paper that I have, but you can easily use Happy Notes. Um, I just used this because of I was doing a two page spread on the next page and I wanted this on the front. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here may use it for decorations or may add some other kind of monthly tracking thing there. And I've already kind of put together my reading review for the year, which I will not fill out until the end, but I thought it was kind of fun to put it together. And the reason why I kind of wanted to go ahead and do this so that way I can start thinking about these things as I'm reading books. And I just kind of came up with these on my own, believe it or not. So most people will have like a total books read, total pages read, favorite book. Um, because I'm really into series, once I find a series, what keeps me continuously reading is <laughs> series because I want to see what happens next. So that's why I had total series completed because I have a feeling that's probably what I'm going to read a lot of this year. Um, and then I have favorite book, favorite series, favorite quotes. And then these I kind of came up with um, like most surprising book, like one that I didn't expect to like and ended up loving or maybe even vice versa. So that is kind of open-ended. Um, most thought-provoking, I kind of leaving that up um, open-ended. That could be book or that could be moment in the book. Um, favorite moment, most surprising moment, and favorite character. And then this is open right now because I'm probably still going to keep this in the year type review. But um, 
I'm not sure what. Like I said, this is my first ever time doing it. I need to see what kind of things I want to capture. All right. So then this brings us to my actual monthly sections. And what I did, and I definitely am excited about this, is I had a 2022 planner um, that I got like heavily discounted and hadn't used. So I, what I did is I just whited out <laughs> the days of the week. And instead of a Sunday start, which is what the happy planner calendar pages do, I just whited it out and started with Monday and then all the dates fall into line. Um, so you can definitely do that for 2022 for the year 2023. I don't believe we can do that next year because it's going to be a leap year. So it's going to throw everything off um, after February. But if you have any old 2022 planners laying around, you can definitely use the calendar page in this way. Um, there are other ways you can do it. And there's like things on the internet which shows you which month you can use for future years and they all fall kind of on the same dates. Um, but I just thought this was easy. And what I'm doing here is just writing when I start the book and when I finish the book. A lot of people do this and it kind of gave me the idea and what I'm going to do is after this year's over with, I'm, I'm hoping to continue to use this book and not really move the 2023 out. I'll just put 2024 in front of it, but I will clip off the month just because I'll have a new year and I don't want to have all these tabs for previous years because the only thing I have here, so I just have the calendar. And then what I did is I taped their currently page to the back. Um, so this currently page was actually behind March, but I wanted April to reflect April. So I just took that and done that. Again, I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to use, but I know I'm going to do total books read. And then I created icons for like a e-reader, audio, and then physical book. Physical book will probably be zero <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. I am definitely an e-reader gal. And right now, because I'm doing yard work, I've actually become an audiobook listener. And then total pages read. And then here I probably, I was whiting out stuff. And then I put the boxes to kind of hide the white out. Because this is where the holidays were. I might do my favorite books here. And then maybe quotes or something here. We'll see. Still figuring it out. Um, let me show you guys kind of what it looks like. So yeah, here's the calendar. So this is like July. So what I'll do is I will white out all of those. And then I will write Monday here. So it'll go Monday through Sunday. And then all the dates will be correct. And then I'll probably white out all of the holidays too, because some of the holidays will not be accurate. The ones that are date specific will be accurate, but the ones that fall on certain days, like a certain, <laughs> you know, the third, I don't know, they, they might be inaccurate. So I'll just white out the holidays because again, this is my reading thing. So then what I do is I'll tape these two together. So that way it flips right to the currently page. So there we go. And, you know, I'm using this because this is the 2022 planner that I had available, but it's really cute dividers and it's kind of perfect for a book journal because it's so fun and, you know, cartoonish. It's just, it's just fun. So I have all of these, I have them all up right now through November um, because I actually bought this late in the year last year and I had used some of it. So for October and November, I might have to use a different one. So I had pulled out, I think, the Gratitude 18 month, and then I have to pull find a December one. But yeah, that's a ways off. And then my next section is reading trackers. Again, I got this image from Stutter, sh sh bleh, Shutterstock, um, which is, you know, you usually have to pay for license for images, but I got a free trial and then I can think I could download like 10 images. So I downloaded 10 images. Um... So I used this because I thought this was cute because it's reading tracker. And then I just did that in Microsoft Word. And then because it was kind of off-centered, I'm so bad at figuring out where to position things on covers for Happy Planner because you have to cut it down. Um, I added the washi tape here to try to offset it. It's fine. I don't want to waste the ink. All right. So trackers. So my idea is for my yearly section... I will just, I would probably just put like 2024 in front of this. Trackers are going to be probably more cons constant. Like I'm not going to, unless I read a whole bunch of series for the remainder of the year and fill all this out. 
I'm going to probably continue this um, until I fill it up. And there's two pages. I mean, it's front and back. So that's what I'll do. I don't have boxes on the back yet. But these were like checklist boxes. And what I did is turn them sideways. So like right now I'm reading Zodiac Academy. And there are eight current books. And there's going to be one more book that's the final. Well, I found a box that had nine checks. So I turned it sideways and that's for that one. Then I found boxes that had five, boxes that had three, and then I added a whole bunch that had none. But um, I thought this was cute. And then the boxes that I used, just in case, um, were these. There are the Agenda um, 52. It says Borders and Foil, but it's all boxes. I don't know that they're still going to have this because this was on clearance. So it might be something that they are discontinuing. I'm not sure. But I like this. This is fun. Um, I did this because, like I said, I am reading Zodiac Academy, which is a pretty lengthy series. And then a couple of other books that are on my like next to read list are also series. So I felt like this was kind of something important to track. And then I created a genre tracker. And now we are back into Happy Notes pages. Um, <clears throat> so again, this paper just came from a Happy Notes notebook, which is a happy planner. I just use stamping to write genre genre tracker and then I use stencils again to do the boxes and then I wrote some like genres and I kind of focused on genres that I typically read um some of these might encompass more than one so like I did urban fantasy which is kind of what I'm reading now which is like the paranormal type stuff young adult Ch I put chick lit <laughs> which is kind of the one with like the kind of funny, um, goofy female heroine type thing. So that's, I kind of picked that. And then like mystery, thriller, memoir, nonfiction, self-help. We'll see. Um, obviously I'm still primarily in this realm right now, and that's probably where I'll stick. And my thought process is I'll just use regular tally system. And then after 2023, I'll just write 2024. I just don't find a need to like create one of these each year. Um, unless I decide to go a different route with tracking. Like I said, this is so new. Who knows? All right. And then here's my book review section. And I think this is also going to be a cumulative section where I'm not going to divide it by year. I'm just going to keep it going. Um, and this is, again, clip art that I found online copied and pasted it into Microsoft Word. These are all stickers, again, from that Recollections book. So this one's pretty simple. Then I created an index of books, which is pretty much my table of contents for all of the um, actual reviews I have forward. And I, I don't know why I'm calling them reviews because I really didn't review them. But as you'll see, it's four to a page. So I just kind of wrote like one, two, three, four with boxes. And then I used washi to kind of decorate it because this paper has this border and has that at the top that says keep on dreaming so I just did this to cover it up but I actually thought it was cute so like washi is you know this is just washi and then pen or fine tip marker that's all this is um that was a highlighter or a dual tip marker um and I don't know why I called it the index of books that's just <laughs> something I think it was the right index and I'm like eh so I read the index of books um so as you can see I've only read seven books thus far um but you know most of those have been read this month so yay me um but then this is where I used my horizontal so what I'll do is I'll just continuously add pages to this I'm not sure Maybe for like if I fill this up and then the year's over with, maybe I'll create another index of books and put it behind here for the next bunch if it's another year. I haven't figured that out yet. But this is just a horizontal planner. It was, let's see if I have it. Yes, it's this one. And I don't have the actual planner in here because I'm using it for a filler paper holder right now. But it was this horizontal planner. It was undated, but I don't really know what I'm going to use a horizontal for. I know a lot of people use it for journaling. Um, but I actually just like using regular filler pages and guided journals for journaling. So I figured I would use this. Um, again, I printed out the covers and I just wrote the books down and wrote like a little something about the book and maybe a quote, if not a quote, it's kind of whatever. It's a hodgepodge. I just wanted to make sure I wrote down 
when I read it and how many pages and how, whether it's Kindle or whatever, which thus far everything is. That's kind of where I am right now. And then I did use some stickers because it's, I'm reading Zodiac Academy. I wanted to use um, the Zodiac sticker pack from Wrong Wrong. I thought that was a perfect opportunity to use it. But see, all I'm doing is whiting out the days of the week and putting that here. And then for this, instead of whiting this out, I'm actually using it to like write a quote or something from for that section. And I believe that's it. I have all the extra pages back here because right now there's so much room <laughs> in this book for storage that I figured why not. So that is all I have, but I kind of just wanted to go through this because I think a reading journal is kind of fun. I was trying to go back and think about, I've read quite a bit of series. Like, um, you know, I've read Vampire Academy. Apparently I really like books like paranormal books that take place in academies of course I read you know the Harry Potter series but I'm not going to keep those in here just because I can't remember a lot of the other books I read so I figure this is going to be a 2023 forward type tracking system but I think it is a good way to keep track of things that you've read um at one point I was actually thinking about keeping track of this in my memory book so I did another video where I was creating like a general memory book where I wrote down like concerts I've attended and like theme parks I visited and things like that and I was like oh I can put my books I read there and I was gonna do this um as part of that book but then I was like you know what I could do so much more and I kind of wanted to use the calendar and I wanted to bring in the horizontal layout planner and do like little reviews so that's why I just decided to make my own. Plus I have so many of these like extra covers and note pages just laying around. Why not just put the whole thing to use, <laughs> right? Um, I am gonna probably add to this as I can think of things to add. I like, I really like this reading journal because I find that it allows me to be creative. Um, like I said, for journaling, I use guided journals. So I know a lot of people do creative journaling where they decorate and they draw in addition to their journaling, because I don't do that, this has been my outlet. So it's been kind of fun, like making things like this, like trackers. And then like, this was fun, even though I did it on the computer, I still created it. So I feel like this has just been kind of like another creative outlet for me while at the same time tracking stuff and using my supplies. Um, so if you guys are into reading, into television shows, or movies, you can always do that. And again, you don't have to do a separate planner. You can add it to your regular everyday planner as an extra section. Or if you have a memory keeping book, you can add it to that. And just instead of books to read, you can do series to watch. You know, series that you started watching and did not finish because you didn't like it. You know, I think that is something good to keep track of. Um, and then like trackers, like where I'm doing reading trackers, you can always do your series trackers and write how many series, how many seasons there are and how many you've watched. Um, genres are another thing you can do with TV shows because they have like the sci-fi, the thrillers, the comedies, the romance. So you, I mean, like even though this is my book journal, it can <laughs> be related to like television shows or even movies. So Hopefully this gave you guys some ideas of things to do as far as if you have happy notes laying around, if you have extra journals from any type of planner company or stationary company laying around. Um, these are some things that you can try and kind of like utilize some of the stuff that you already have instead of, you know, buying new ones. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will say um, I probably will be doing like a flip through because I don't read that much. I don't know if I'm going to do like a six month flip through or wait till the end of the year, but I will be doing a flip through of this because like I said, I probably will be adding some additional stuff. We'll see. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I do want to thank all of you who are already subscribed. That is all I have for now. I really want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time, bye.